It was controlled chaos. You couldn't hear a thing in there. Protesters shouted. So the city council said, we're going to go ahead anyway. We're going to take phoned in comments. And they came up with something basic like earplugs so they could hear what was going on while the protesters were doing their thing. It was nonstop for more than two hours. It was loud. As the LA City Council listened to more than 100 public comments via phone calls with new earpieces in so they could hear, some two dozen protesters continued shouting, no resignations, no meeting. I'd say we're still getting our voices heard. The meeting is illegitimate as far as we're, we're concerned uh, until we get those resignations. These city council members should be going to the district and holding community meetings to talk to communities of how is the way to move forward. The scandal over recorded racist remarks from 2021 broke back on October 9th. Then Council President Nuri Martinez resigned three days later, but Kevin DeLeon and Gil Cedillo have so far refused. Cedillo in self-described reflection, DeLeon going on offense. I made some flippant remarks uh, that I regret. De Leon has done multiple interviews, though not with Fox 11, apologizing but essentially saying he's not racist and his district needs him, the latest with Tavis Smiley. I have a moral obligation uh, as well to my constituents to give them a voice. The council base pays about $218,000 before benefits, so each day they don't come to work. They still earn that taxpayer-funded paycheck of about $840 each day before taxes. The city council has taken every legal option available to us under the city charter. The council agrees with the protesters on the need for resignations, but so far they can't legally force them out. So this awkward stalemate continues. As long as we can continue to do our business. That's where... I, you know, am going to be, I'm going to draw a clear line. Well, they think they are able to do their business by having the public comments be on the phone, again, with, you know, something as basic as earbuds, Ellis and Christine. Uh, they did set a special election to replace Nuri Martinez, but that's not till uh, April of next year. Live downtown, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News that he has to be there to best represent his constituents, that they don't have a voice without him. Was he there today to represent his constituents and give them their voice?